Hey, what's up guys? Too Tall Toby here, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can save a lot of time because most of the time you don't need to go into evaluate measure if you just wanna find out what the diameter of this hole is. Ow. So this is one of these tricks that it's really simple to learn and you can just save a ton of time, get a ton of value out of learning this trick. And basically the trick is just pay attention to the lower area of your screen. It's called the status bar in SolidWorks. Because what you'll find is when you select on geometry, like the face of the cylinder, the status bar will tell you what the dimensional value of that geometry is. And you know, that's it basically. That saves you so much time because it means that if you just need to quickly find out, hey, what's the diameter of this hole? Boom, there it is, 30 millimeters. If you need to find out quickly, what's the distance between this face and this face? What you can do is you can hold control and select both of those faces and boom, the distance is 28 millimeters. And you could maybe work with faces that have angles. Like, uh, you know, are these two faces parallel? They are parallel because I got a nominal distance between those faces as opposed to this face and this face, which are at an angle. So now I know which two faces are parallel, which two faces are not parallel. That can save you a lot of time, especially when you're working with parts that have draft. And you can even find out things like, what's the distance between this surface and this surface axially? So if I pick those two cylindrical surfaces, I can see down here, what's the distance between those two? It's 125 millimeters. So that's it for that quick tip. It's one of these things where you can learn it really quickly, but it can give you a ton of value because now it's really only once in a while that you have to go into the evaluate measure command. Most of the, the measurements that you need, you can just reap right from that status bar shortcut. If you enjoyed that, if you start using that a lot, if it gives you a lot of value, feel free to go down into the YouTube super thanks functionality where you can use a credit card to send me a couple of bucks, uh, like a tip, kind of like the way you might tip a waiter if they do a good job. You can say, hey, Toby, this brought me a ton of value. Here's some value back to you as a thank you. And uh, beyond that, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out this video as well where I show you another good way to save some time in SolidWorks. Be sure to like, subscribe, and maybe share this video with somebody else who's trying to learn more about the wonderful world of SolidWorks. And I'll see everybody in the next video.